All right, we are going to have a look at the second level of trigonometry where you can pretty much apply the same rules, except this time the unknown is going to end up on the bottom. So that'll be a bit different. So I follow my same process and the first thing I ask is, am I using my hypotenuse? The answer is no. So automatically I know I'm going to use my tan ratio. So my tan ratio is opposite over adjacent. Step two, I'm going to put in my known values. So the first one, tan of 30 degrees, my opposite is 5, and my adjacent is x. Now previously I would have just sort of grabbed that x and moved it across there because it was the number. I can't do that with my 5 because it's at the top. So I can't just multiply this side by 5 to get x on its own. I actually have to do a couple of steps. So the first thing I do is I can multiply both sides by x to get rid of x because I don't really like x being a denominator. So I'm then left with tan of 30 degrees times x. Now my goal is to isolate the variable. So to do that, at the moment, I have with me times 1030. So I have to do the opposite of times 1030, Georgia, which is? Well done, Georgia. So I divide that side by 1030. And I divide this side by 1030. They cancel each other out. And here I'm left with x equals 5 over tan of 30. And that is exactly what I punch into my calculator. Check it. It's like reverse mode. I go 10. No, I go 5 divided by 10, 30, enter, and my answer is oh, 5 square root 3, so I hit F to D, and it gives me a better answer of 8.66. So I then go X equals 8.66, and that is how that is done. Later we can work out that there's a bit of a shortcut so that when you get to them, after you've done a couple, say for instance, we hey, say for instance, that's your triangle, there's your uh, degrees, your hypotenuse is unknown, and that side is 16. So again, am I using my hypotenuse? The answer is yes. What's my other side? It's the opposite side. So I go to my Sokotoa. Opposite and hypotenuse is the S. So sine equals opposite over hypotenuse. I sub my values in. So it becomes sine of 42 degrees equals 16 over X. Now, when I get to this point, I'm not going to go through that whole process each time. I'm going to pretend that I'm clever and I know what's going to happen. And so I can actually just swap these two around. Hello, Mr. McGreevy. Thanks for your email. Note to self, turn those off in future. Uh, so I just swap those around so that I have x equals 16 over sine 42 degrees. And again, that's exactly what I punch into my calculator. So I go 16. How am I going there? Pretty ordinary. Divide by sine 42. Enter. And I have an answer of 23.91. 23.91. That's how you do it. Hope that makes you happy. Does anyone want to say hello? You're, you're, you're going live on YouTube now. Oh. Hey guys, how you doing? Hey guys. Wait, where am I on that side? Yeah, weird, isn't it? <laughs> oh. so, everyone say bye. Bye.